There's a test I'd like you to take. No. I have a lot of cleaning up to do. It won't take too long. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Uptown. Your office already has my address. What do you do for a living? I trade in hard-to-find animals. What's your name? Emil Runciter. A man dressed in rags approaches you on the street and asks for money. I'd avoid him. You're crying. Why is that? Because all my animals... Out of the corner of your eye, you see a large black spider crawling up the wall. I'd capture it. Spiders have risen in value every year for the last... You're supposed to call animal services if you find a wild animal. Oh, I'd do that first. Are you taking any drugs? No. For your anniversary, your spouse gives you a real goldfish. I'd check Sydney's for the resale value. Goldfish depreciate quickly. I wouldn't know. You return from work to find that your home has been burglarized. Detective, I think you know I've just been through far worse than that. When did you stop beating your spouse? That's a tired old joke, Detective. Besides, I'm not married. Using the first words that come into your mind, describe your childhood. Lonely. Difficult. You notice someone attractive across the room. I'd ask her out, of course. You're having a very erotic dream. And your point is? Just say the first thing that pops into your head. My dreams are my own. You're suddenly very afraid. Why? Perhaps I'm being threatened by a rogue policeman. I'm not threatening you. Stop playing games. You want something, or you wouldn't be administering the test. I'm not a replicant, for heaven's sakes. We'll let the machine decide that. Your best friend has done something to make you angry. I try to forgive him. It's the first day of school, and the teacher calls on you. And? How do you feel about that? I probably know the answer. Why would I feel anything? It's OK. I got what I need. How old are you? 53. Describe in single words only the good things that come into your mind about your mother. Gentle, loving, comforting. Your child comes home with a black eye. Childhood is full of harsh lessons. You suddenly feel the urge to commit suicide. We all feel that way sometimes. It will pass. A teacher calls you stupid in front of the rest of the class. No doubt I made a mistake. What's the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you? I... I'm not answering that. You're seven years old. You managed to steal several marshmallows from the kitchen and sneak them back to your bedroom. You're caught, and your father spanks you. I wouldn't let him touch me. You've been drafted into the army. Adversity builds character. Let me finish. During a boot camp hazing, you're bound, blindfolded, and forced to eat worms. Oh, I see. The worms make it different, don't they? I'd have to report the perpetrators. You're having dinner at a friend's home. Halfway through the appetizer, he tells you that you've been eating goose liver pâté. A shameful waste. I'd report him. You're visiting the dentist. At the receptionist's desk is a huge bowl of fresh-cut flowers. I'd find another dentist. You see a documentary about 20th century tuna boats. At the end, you feel like taking up fishing. Don't be ridiculous. They don't show such garbage on television. You pour yourself a drink. Sometimes. Every time you finish one, you have another until you vomit. You wake up hungover and depressed. We all have things we'd like to forget, and nights when the forgetting takes its toll. 
You're giving a speech to a crowd of hundreds. First, one person starts to laugh. Why would you? He leans over and says something to the people around him. Soon the whole audience is roaring with laughter and pointing at you. I'd leave. I don't deserve to be ridiculed. You're watching TV. Suddenly you notice a wasp crawling on your wrist. Wasps are uh, uh, very valuable indeed. Quite beautiful. In a magazine, you come across a full-page photo of a nude girl. I don't read filthy magazines. I haven't finished the question. Don't bother. You're given a calfskin wallet for your birthday. I'd report the manufacturer. You have a little boy. He shows you his butterfly collection, plus the killing jar. A child needs discipline. Severe discipline. You're at a restaurant with friends. One of them orders lobster. The chef drops the lobster into the tub of boiling water while you watch. That's insane! They used to do it all the time. Do you have any idea what lobsters are worth these days? You rent a mountain cabin. On the wall, someone has hung old maps and Courier and Ives prints. A deer's head is mounted above the fireplace. A full stag with developed horns. What do you expect me to say? You don't have to say anything. The Voigt Kampf measures... I understand how it works. You see an oversized book with pictures of exotic animals on the cover. The title is Big Game Hunting in Zaire. Curious, you flip it open. There's a picture of a man standing with his foot on a dead Cape buffalo. This test was written by a psychopath. You find yourself fascinated. You keep paging through it, seeing picture after picture of animals laid to waste, each more gruesome than the last. You don't have anything to say? What's the point? You've been kidnapped. Your captors tell you that you'd better think about what you did to deserve this. That's not right. I didn't do anything. What do you think it's like to be a replicant? How would I know? How do you think it would feel to be hunted all the time? They're just machines. So you don't have any sympathy for them? I suppose it might be bad. You're going to die. It may be soon. Death. The grave. Rot. It may be soon. The readouts don't lie. You're scared. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. That's pathetic. You're pathetic. Hey, I just read them. You're in a desert, walking along in the sand. When all of a sudden you look down and see a tortoise. It's crawling towards you. You reach down and flip the tortoise on its back. I wouldn't do that. It might injure the animal. The tortoise lays on its back, its belly baking in the hot sun, beating its legs, trying to turn itself over. But it can't. Not without your help. But you're not helping. Why is that? You're disgusting. Hey, I didn't... I've always loved animals since I was a boy. No one's saying otherwise. The test is supposed to provoke a reaction. Can you even begin to understand what it's like to lose everything you've ever loved? All at once? Must be rough. Get out of here! You're watching an old movie. It shows a banquet in progress. The guests are enjoying raw oysters. The entree consists of boiled dog. I turn it off. You're on a farm. You get into the pen to feed the pigs. In their excitement, the animals knock you down into the mud. Using a butcher knife, you slit the throat of the nearest sow. You're covered in blood as you stumble to your feet. I could never! Who could? No one I know. Like my briefcase? It's very nice. Department issue. Baby hide. 100% genuine human baby hide. You're a sick man. Yeah, but doctors make me jumpy, so sick I stay. You ready for the next one? Let's get this over with. Positive result. Subject is human. Test terminated. <laughs>